Hey guys, Jordan here from Pro Social Replay, bringing you guys a commentary tutorial on how to sync shots with the music in Sony Vegas. Uh, most people can't really afford the high price of After Effects and whatnot. So I brought a tutorial on how to sync the shots with Sony Vegas and make them look nice, smooth, etc, etc. So here's the look that we're going to be going for right here. Let's see, you screwed up a little bit. You know how we do. Uh, oh. They telling me to take the safe route. This is the deep saw. Hoodie, baby, you ain't seen a kid like this before. Late night shooting for the moon like war and some hit. Okay, and you might have seen this video before in one of my other ones. That I, uh, yeah. The other one was actually made in After Effects. And they almost look exactly the same. I actually reduced the quality on it so my computer would run faster. But let's get to it. Just delete all the shots real fast. Okay, let's see how it is. Get the zoom in now. Okay, there we go. First off, is you want to find out where your beat hits right here, like right here. You know how we do. They telling me to take the safe bomb. route. This is the deep song. Hoodie baby, you ain't seen bomb. a kid like this before. Late night shooting for the moon like war. You also want to take into account how many shots are actually in the clip. I think there was like one, two, three, four, five, six. There were seven clips or seven clips, seven shots taken total. But the last shot was missed, so we kind of slowed that part out. So first, what you want to do is set markers. By setting markers, you want to press the M button. So when the beat, when the bass, when the beat drops on the first part, you want to press M right there, and just keep on going until you got your, you got your set real quick. Next thing you want to do is you want to start putting in your intervention sounds. Just click on it, Control C, click on the next marker, Control V, keep on going. Keep on going, and there we go. Okay, what's going on down here? That's a little weird. What's going on? Kind of scared or no? The next thing you want to do is you want to import your feed, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so at this moment, you really don't want to care about the music or the shots at the moment. You want to go through, just go frame by frame to the point right before he shoots. No, you want to go right when he shoots. Press right there. And just keep on going that for every shot. Let's see what we got. Right here. I'm going to go through this a little bit faster. It might not look as good because I'm trying to rush this because I want to get the greatest content out for you guys. And right there. Let's see, right there. And right there. And so far for the last piece, you just want to fade this one out because it actually has nothing to do with it because he actually doesn't get the shot. Okay, first off, you want to see this right here is where the first shot's made. So you want to take from here, there, and back, and just take it all the way back here. So technically, the first shot's already synced up, as you can see. Oh, let me turn the music on. Turn this on. See? The next thing you want to do is you just want to zoom in, make sure you get everything perfect. Okay, take all your clips from over here, drag them a little closer so you don't get them lost. Actually, right right when the 50 comes up, you want to press, like when it gets bigger, I guess, you want to press S, and then Control, and shift it, or not shift it, but pull it to the end of this line, so it stretches it out. You pull, this is where the shot goes in, go where the 50 comes back up again. And keep on doing the same thing. It's so, so when you, if you weren't to do this, if you just stretched out from this point, it would actually stretch out from where the actual shot was shot, and it, it'll unsync all the parts you thought were going to be synced. So 
I'm just gonna split this real fast. Do this. Just do this. No, a little bit further. There we go. And as you guys see, this is really kind of easy. And then just put this last one in. Hopefully this works. <laughs> They telling me to take the safe route This is the deep saw Hoodie baby you ain't seen a kid like this before Late night shooting for the moonlight war There we go And you just, you don't need the slash shot in So basically this is the way to sync your clips in Sony Vegas It's really easy I'll have another tutorial on how to render your videos in Sony Vegas in full quality Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, I can answer them in the description below. Comments. Just comment what you think. Tell me what you think about this. Probably add a little bit of music behind my voice right now because nobody wants to hear a bunch of random voices with no music behind it. Okay, so here's a little thing. Comment, rate, subscribe if you want to. Thank you for watching. This, that. Boom, 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 boom. Peace out. Tune.